Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Kailakin and we're going to go and dive a few wrecks. So we're going to go and dive HMS Port Napier to start with. That's assuming we can find it. So we've got beautiful weather out here. This is uh, Kailakin we're in. There's the Sky Bridge. Kaila Block Alter over there. And we're just going to launch the boat off this uh, side slip here and then take it away around uh, over towards the Napier and go and explore that. Hopefully there could be some very big pollock on this wreck, so very, very excited for this. Been a long time coming. HMS Port Napier was a mine layer for the British Royal Navy during World War II. The ship was commissioned on the 12th of June 1940. The ship has a length of 152 metres and a beam of 21. The ship's weight was 9,600 tonnes and was capable of holding up to 600 mines. Less than six months after the ship had been commissioned, it was destroyed on the 27th of November 1940 in Loch Alsh during an explosion following an engine room fire. The ship now lies just off Kailakin into Loch Alsh. Parts of the ship are exposed during low tide and the deeper parts of the ship sit in about 18 metres of water, making it very accessible for diving and spear fishing. The ship holds an abundance of life, plenty of pollock and the odd conger eel. I'd heard about the Port Napier years ago from line anglers that were telling me about how many fish they'd caught there and some really, really large pollock. The wreck itself completely exceeded my expectations. I don't know what I had in my head, initially but it was far larger than I was expecting and it had some really impressive swim crews. Myself and Tig had a great time exploring the trek for the afternoon. You'll notice a small timer on the side of your screen. This is a countdown for the next dive. Sit back, relax, and just watch this clip. As the timer goes down, take your breath, chill out, and at the end of the timer, take a really large breath, and then follow me through this dive for a sheet of bollock around the eight pound mark. Whilst you're doing that, if you could hit the like button, that'd be appreciated. This is the first time I've dived a wreck of this size and it's a completely different experience to diving normal rough ground which is what I'm used to diving pinnacles and rock features. On a wreck I've noticed that the fish can be at any height in the water and can quite often sit very high up so I do my usual of trying to get down to the bottom 
and hide away. So I get down to around 10, 12 meters and then start to look around and I realize that the fish are actually above me and I've dived well past where some of the fish are cruising. And in the distance, higher up in the water column, I spot this nice fish. This fish is actually about eight pound in weight and I spook it as I'm trying to move towards it. It comes around the side of this pinnacle and I drop back thinking it's gonna plane round, which it does. As the fish planes around the side of this pinnacle, I take a shot into the top of the shoulder. <laughs> I particularly enjoyed this hunt because if I had just stayed still on the bottom, I don't believe I would have got close to this fish. However, by moving towards it and tactically chasing it, it paid up the result of a cracking pollock around the 8-pound mic. Whilst I was playing around with my drone, trying to get some cool shots of this wreck, Tig went for a wee swim through, and whilst he was in this swim through, he spots what he claims to be a monstrous starfish. This is the moment where he sets eyes on it, and it's that big, he does a double take, as he's in disbelief as to how big this thing is. So, whilst I'm flying my drone, he's pestering me, saying, we need to get back in the water, there's a six foot starfish.
I quickly jump back in the water to go and explore this alleged six foot starfish. I'll let you make up your mind. Six foot! Six! Six foot! Oh dear Jesus! It's a big starfish, but six foot! I was like, where is it? And then I was like, oh, oh, that's it, Tim. <laughs> That's all for this video. If you've enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. And if you have any comments at all, hit me up in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching.